So let's begin with this problem two. Uh, in a year group, 108 students, 60 like football, 53 like tennis, and 10 like neither. So there are two objects which are, are being given over here. That is uh, two games actually, football and tennis. And that is 10 like neither. So we have to make a diagram. If you're going to make a diagram, uh, this one will be our universal set. So, okay. So now you have to check that uh, these two sports, these two sports, they might have some sports, some students uh, may like these two sports together. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a uh, Two group that is group of this is for football and another for the one this is for tennis okay now they say total 108 students so total number of students are 108 so total number of students is 108 and 60 like ball 53 like uh, tennis, 10 like neither. So 10 will be outside. Okay. And you have to check with um, check with the value that means football and common. So calculate the number of students who like football but not tennis. So only football. Suppose we are having X people who like football and tennis both. So it should be 60 minus common. And this should be 53 minus common. So you have to now question is you have to find that what is X? Then you have to find what is only football. Right? So only football are 60 minus X. So these two are now question mark. So you have to find this two for problem number two. If you have already done, you can just raise your hand. So I'll ask in one of students, you can just share your answer. So as per question, if you just write that in the question, it has been given all the values, that means 60 minus x plus x plus 53 minus x plus 10, that equals to 108, okay? You have to solve and find the value of x. We are going to remove this bracket 60 minus x and uh, x then 53 minus x so you can see that this one uh, will be this one will be so let me just erase it and solve it so how much it is coming you can check it out so this is coming x this is coming x because uh, negative x is here so 60 and 53 and 10 so it is 113 plus 10, 123. Instead of, um, so you can write here, you can write here as 123, 123 minus x, that equals to 108. So it is now become x equals to 123 minus 108, okay? So 123 minus 108 will be 15. So this is the common one. 
is the common one. So what is the value of this common? That is, is 15 students, 15 people, and only football, which is supposed to be five, like who like football, but not tennis. So it would be 60 minus 15. So that should be 45. So this is the answer for problem two. Okay. Anyone have any question? Okay, so we can take it further. Problem number three. Now problem number three is problem number three. We are going to problem number three. So question three. First work always make this diagram. So for this main diagram. It is not always you have to make the diagram. Sometimes the diagram also will be given, like just previous exercise we have done. And the group 113 students. So first write the information. Total 113 students. Right. So next information you have to check. <clears throat> 60 like hockey. So hockey is there. Rugby is there. So two games are already indicated. So I'm writing two groups over here, one for hockey, another for rugby, okay. So next one is hockey is 60, so I'm keeping it as common as x, they said 18 neither, so I'm keeping 18 neither. Um, do not think that every time you have to write at the corner itself, just outside the uh, circle it is fine. It is not necessary you have to write at the corner, just I'm, I'm following one just one way um, 60 like hockey so uh, strictly not so common also there so 60 minus 6 45 is like rugby so 45 minus 6 so now calculate the number of students who like both hockey and rugby like only hockey so what do you have to do what are the findings we have now find number one uh, what is the both that means what is x x equals to how much and number two only hockey only hockey means uh, it is 60 minus x so 60 minus x equals to okay so this is the way you have to set. so this is the equation now now if you're going to solve this one we're going to get um, this is 60 plus 45 is 105 105 plus uh, 18 that means 123 am i right it should be 123 and x x cancel so it will be minus x this will be 113 so ultimately x we are getting 123 113 that means 10 am i correct so both like 10 students okay now only hockey only hockey is 60 minus 10 that is 50 okay so all of the students who has already solved i hope you have got the same answer i hope you have got the same answer Uh, the fourth question if you see one year 37 students sat an examination in physics 48 sat chemistry 45 sat biology 15 students sat physics and chemistry 13 sat chemistry and biology and seven sat were physics and biology five students sat all of this do i venn diagram to represent this information so first thing when you're going to draw this actually you need little big space because uh, there are three four information are given so i'm making it a little bigger first this is my xi that means universal set next thing is you have to check that uh, 37 students for physics so physics chemistry and biology they have a common one common uh, space so I'm making four projects. 
chemistry and biology. Okay, so this is P for physics, C for chemistry, and B for biology. Let's see. Next one is you have to um, you have to take the value. You have to put the value. What are the values are there? So 37 students had an examination in physics. So 37 is only for physics. 48, uh, 48 for chemistry. Then 45 for biology. Now they said 15 students had a physics and chemistry. Now you have to, these are the raw information of 15 students are uh, sat for physics and chemistry that means physics chemistry where well. physics and chemistry 15 okay now 13 sat for chemistry and biology chemistry biology is 13 okay now seven sat for physics and biology we'll come to this okay, I'm subtracting part but I'm just writing the information first Seven sat for physics and biology, okay. And five students sat all the three. Okay, so the informations we have collected, anything is missing? Anyone have anything to say? Now we are going to check the next part. This is this was the first part of A. That means you have to draw a Venn diagram. We have drawn a Venn diagram. Now part B, part B is saying, uh, calculate N, N for number, number of element, okay? Calculate P physics, union chemistry, union biology. So someone please uh, tell me what should be the answer for this? How many students are going to appear? What is the total number of students? You can consider this one. Okay, now let, let's start with the next part of the problem. So you can see now, this one, the red one is representing what? A union B. This one, this is the part of B part, question number B, and this is question number A. This is A intersection B. I hope it is clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, problem number four. If A a is representing a b choose two elements in the set list all the subset of it so okay the first subset we can write uh, the set itself so a comma b second set we can write a third set we can write as b and fourth set like i said always null is always a subset so if there are two elements by the form of formula of 2 to the power n, we can say 2 to the power 2, so it should be four subset. One, two, three, four. These are the four subset. Now coming to problem number five. Xi M A T H S and A is A S. What set is represented by a complement? So when you're going for a complement or a dash, you have to compare with Universal set. Xi is representing universal set. So a complement will be except a rest of the values. So except a means a and s. So we can cancel this a and s. So what is available now? M T H. Right? M T H. So this will be your complement of or a dash we have this. Okay, like this, we have to solve different type of problem. Now, I would suggest, if you want, you can solve more questions from different past papers, or you can solve from this book also, student assessments are there, two, two three students assessment are available, so you can try that. Okay, so, Okay, so I'd suggest that if, uh, do you have any more question? Do you understood the topic? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, then for today, we can end this class and from next day onwards, we will start 
um, other questions from different uh, topics. Okay.